Hello viewers and welcome to this series on testing of bricks. Building bricks are the oldest and also the most extensively used building material. Being a local material, there exist considerable variation in the quality of raw material, their process of manufacture and thereby in the quality of the finished product. In order to bring uniformity in their quality and dimension, Bureau of Indian Standard has laid down specifications for bricks. One such classification based on compressive strength is shown here. Bricks are either hand molded or machine molded. This is a hand molded brick, it generally carries a frog. You can see here a sample of machine molded brick, it has more regular dimensions and does not carry any frog. The bricks used in construction should be free from cracks, flaws and nodules of free line. A good quality brick should have smooth rectangular faces, sharp edges and they should give a clear ringing sound when struck against each other. Such bricks are classified as subclass A. Those having slight distortion or rounded edges are termed as subclass B. On the basis of the dimensions, bricks can be classified as modular or non-modular types. The dimensions of modular and non-modular type are shown in the table. Soils used in making bricks may contain various harmful chemicals and salts which may affect their physical and mechanical properties. Hence, before selecting bricks for use in construction, it is necessary to carry out complete evaluation of their physical and mechanical properties. As per IS 1077-1992 and IS 3495-1992, various tests that are required to be conducted for evaluation of bricks are dimensional tolerance test water absorption test, efflorescence test and compressive strength test. In this program, we shall conduct dimensional tolerance test. The commonly types of bricks used are non-modular type. In this series, we shall be using non-modular other class bricks and conduct various tests on them. The proper dimensions of bricks are very important to have a good bond arrangement. For the dimensional tolerance test, the representative sample depends on number of bricks in the lot, which is as shown in the table. To carry out dimensional tolerance test, we need a steel or inverse tape graduated from one end 
in 0 0.5 mm division a trowel and bricks as per sample size. A flat surface is also required to conduct the test. For conducting this test, we have taken 40 bricks from a lot of 10,000 bricks as per sample size requirements. Before carrying out test, remove blisters if any, loose particles of clay and small projections from surface of bricks. Then arrange the sample lengthwise in two rows of 20 bricks each upon a level surface. Ensure that there is no gap between the adjacent bricks. Now measure overall length of 20 bricks with the tape at one stretch and record the value. Similarly, note the reading for the second row also. In the same manner, now arrange the bricks width wise. Determine the overall width of both the rows with the tape. Record the values in the performa. Finally, Arrange the 20 bricks in each row height wise and determine the overall height with the tape. Record the observations in the performa. The required dimensions of various types of bricks as per IS code are given in the table. In this test, we have used bricks under other class. The readings observed and the average values calculated are shown in the table. Thus, we have seen how dimensional test on bricks is carried out. In this case, length, width, and height of the specimen is found to be within the specified limits. Therefore, we can conclude that this sample meets the criteria of dimensional tolerance. Thank you and goodbye.